Hi everyone, welcome to my plan with me. I am back planning for the week of May 18th through May 24th. I'm gonna use the kit Crafty from Scribble Prints Co. And I'll just do a quick flip through of the kit. And then I also picked up glitter headers and the label sampler. And then the freebie for this one was the munchkin heads. So I've already gone ahead and done a lot of the whiting out. Um, and then I also have a Once More With Love reusable sticker book. Um, and I started prepping for this plan with me. Um, I have a label maker, so I just printed off each day of the week. And I started pulling some stickers that I thought I would want to use for this spread. And then I also keep a sticky note with me. Um, if there's any stickers I pull from a shop I don't use as often, um, or if it's from a sampler, I usually write it down so that I can make sure to credit correctly when taking my photos. Um, and then there's just the rest of the book. So I have some stuff prepped, some stuff I'll have to pull out, um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, for starters, I'm gonna put down my bottom washi, and this is always the fun part here, getting it all lined up. Okay, there we go. And then I wanna do an overlay. Uh, I'm using hollow for this kit, so I have some really pretty overlays here. That down. Okay. These overlays are also from Scribble Prints Co. So then let's get into the start of the week here. Um, pull out my boxes. So then I usually pick what will be kind of my full box that will go up here um, and then I'll go through the week. Um, if there is like a phrase on it, I'll usually put that box up here. Otherwise, if they're just all images like this, I'll just pick and choose one. Um, and then there is also an extra box right there. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna put the camera and then go right. Here on that second line, smooth that all out nice and even, and then I'm gonna go in with my sidebar. For my sidebar, there's a couple different things that I need. Um, I've just found what works for me. And So for starters, we'll pick a glitter header and lay that down here. Perfect. 
And then I have my two habit trackers each week. I should probably switch it up because I'm pretty consistent with both of my current habits that I'm tracking. Um, so it'd probably be nice to change it up to start tracking and adding new habits into my day to day. Um, but right now I track, oops, um, taking my medications and then getting in at least 30 active minutes or 10,000 steps a day. Um, stay active, especially with quarantine right now. Um, it's pretty easy to stay in the house and not move. So track that. Then I have a to-do list for the week and a dog hair. Um, I used to have my next week, which is the next one I put down up above. And then I decided I really wanted to have my to-do list first and then my kind of what my look ahead at next week um, below that. And then I usually just finish this off, this white out section here, um, with a bit of washi here. And then I just kind of look at what color I haven't used as much. And let's go with... And then I just lay some down here. To fill in the space. And then um, the bottom washi overlays, there's this little side strip right here. And I usually just pull that. And put that on there. Like that. So that is my sidebar for starters. And then I have some scripts. Um, so far, everything's been from Sarah Elizabeth Prince, or excuse me, from Scribble Prince Co. And my script stickers here that I'm pulling up are from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. Um, and I have a code for her shop, CC30. We'll get you 30% off. Um, and my foiled freebie whenever there's not a sale. And then when there is a sale, if you just mention my name in the notes to seller, you can still get my foiled freebie. Okay, so there is my habits. Um, and then I'll fill in my to-dos and my next week a little bit later. Then the next thing that I do is um, pull and set up my boxes and my overlays um, for the rest of the week here. My boxes a little bit scattered okay so then I have some overlays from rose colored days and I'm gonna pull those into the spread here Pack that up and I pre-pulled these there we go And then we'll do a glitter header. Okay, I had an alarm go off on my phone, so I'm not sure exactly where that cut off. And it's going to be fun to um, get the footage edited together um, because I'm new to that. Um, but what I was saying is I'm putting down my full box overlays and my glitter headers and my regular boxes. Um, just to get the week set up here. That one's going to go there. Okay. And this is just kind of the base. So the more exciting part will be once I get all this laid down for you. Um, I forgot to white out here.
That's a white out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I already did the overlay um, the DIY date covers from Rose Colored Days, which are new to her shop. So I've got that one all prepped and ready to go. Put that, put you in frame. Then we'll move on to Tuesday. And I just alternate the glitter headers in kind of a pattern, like a shifted pattern. Um, usually a decent portion of these background overlays gets covered, um, but if I mess up with a sticker, it's a lot easier to pull it up if I'm pulling it up from the texture of these overlay stickers than the texture of the paper. I usually end up ripping the paper. Um, so until I have these different kind of overlays coming, um, in the mail, until those arrive, I'm using kind of these decorative ones. Um, but the roll has so many on it, I'm not too concerned here. And I don't do it every time, but it is fun and it's easier. And there's that one. And then we have Tuesday. There we go. I've been waiting to film this for a couple days now. Um, I moved last June and completely lost the filming arm that I had. And then I tried to get one locally and I tried two different ones at Best Buy and they weren't long enough or their tripod feet were in the frame. Um, and then I ordered this really nice one that should be coming in like a month or so. But in the meantime, I got the one I'm using now from Amazon and it's working pretty well. Um, it's actually a lot better than expected. I can get it to hook on to more tables than just the general clamp ones. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, but now I'm finally, even though it's Wednesday of the following week, I'm finally able to sit down and plan. So I always memory keep in my Erin Condren and then I keep them on my shelf and I think that's just a fun way to look back and see what I've done um, and just kind of remember. It's like scrapbooking with stickers for me. I used to scrapbook, um, but I love doing this. So there's the first half of the week. Now I've got the second half of the week. Um, apologies if this is kind of boring. And yes, I do use a decent amount of whiteout. So I should invest in thick whiteout. Like in their stocks. <laughs> okay, I'll put this open for a second just to see where I'm at with placing stickers. So I want one in the middle. I try to repeat my patterns um, with how I lay out my boxes and with um, how I do my glitter headers. So there is a method to my madness. Perfect. And then there is a scene in this one. So two boxes kind of 
play off each other. Um, so rather than repeat my pattern and the second box in the scene would go down lower, I'm going to put them both here in like the same level to keep the scene. Some people split it. Um, some people put it on the weekend. I know some people do Wednesday, Thursday. Um, this is just the... I like to put it on Thursday, Friday. My weekends actually can be pretty full. Um, and so there's been times where I don't even put a box because I have so much going on the weekend. Um, so I just feel like Thursday, Friday works best for that, for me. Um, and I don't like breaking it up with the coil. On to Friday. We are almost there. Are these ones the same? Sorry about my nails, guys. I painted them with this color I got at Target from OPI. And I didn't love the color, and I had to do like four coats. It did not look like what was on the bottle. And I got mad at it, so I picked it off. <laughs> and I haven't replaced it yet, so they look kind of crappy. And I'm sorry. In the future, they will look better. But I typically don't paint my nails. I normally get them done, so been a while since we've gotten them done obviously with quarantine. I had gotten them, I was due to get them redone like right after we shut down in Minnesota. Um, so they grew out for a while and then I painfully removed them by myself and then I had bare nails for a while and then I did some press-ons um, and then I have one more set of press-ons but I decided, oh, I'll just paint them, and I didn't like it. But I'm also really lazy about taking off the polish, so there's that. Okay, we are almost done with the week. Only a couple more to lay out, and then we'll get into the exciting portion. What did I actually do last week? Which, I don't know. It's different than before quarantine. It's definitely slower. But I find ways to do interesting things at home or go for a drive. And I do, I am considered essential at my job but essential work from home so ideally we do the majority of our work from home and then um when we have to go in we can go in um and usually i go in about once a week for a couple hours so that gets me out of the house and gives me something different to do um but right now i'm at home so it definitely is different in terms of what my days look like compared to previous years and even previous months. But we are making it work. It's okay. Some days are hard, but I'm glad that I'm very grateful that I can be at home right now. So even though it's hard. Okay, and we are on to the final day of this shenanigans. So we need a box at the top. Okay. Perfect. 
trying to make sure things aren't too crooked. I'm a little bit crooked right there. It's too far over. I hate crooked stickers, but I'm trying to get used to like filming at the same time as I'm planning. Um, and I can't have like my head right over the top of my planner. Otherwise all you would see is my head. And what fun is that? So I'm getting used to the angle of trying to plan. Also, I'm limited with what I can do with this particular filming arm. So there's that as well, but we're trying. It's brand new. Yes, I know I'm picking up a, a new hobby or a new skill during quarantine, trying to get into filming. Um, but I've already done a lot of cooking and baking, so it's time for something new. We are on to the final pieces of the base. There we go. Okay, so the other part of the base that I don't know that I'll do right now because it will be long and boring um, is I'm going to do overlays on all of the headers and I'll probably put overlays on all the boxes. But for now, let's um, dive into some of the planning zooming in a little bit and we will go back to Monday. Um, here's kind of a couple of the overlay headers I've looked at doing. Um, so we'll see. Um, first of all, I'm going to grab a label here. Put this one in my frame yep right up top and then I have a little I had a little hollow script sticker I just ripped it <laughs> so I will grab a new one here one second for my giant foil Binder. Got this one. And then here we go. So it was Irene's birthday on Monday. I'll put in her name there. Um, what is next? Um, there wasn't a ton that we did that day. I don't totally plan chronologically. I kind of go with what fits in the spread. Um, but let's see here. I did make breakfast that day for myself, like full on cooked some breakfast. There we go. And then what else? I worked. And went for a walk. Oh, and I bought a lot of things. <laughs> I did some shopping. Um, so let's see here. I cut um, one of these because I don't have enough of these. I need four. Yeah, so I'm going to trim one of these a little bit. Add it to the other one. Like we'll have this one down here. Add this little one up top. And then Label will go with spending. So that day, I bought four different things. I bought from Wonton and a Million, Fox and Pip, 
rose colored days and simply gilded or did it arrive in the mail <laughs> it totally arrived in the mail i didn't buy it this was happy mail you guys <laughs> these were things that arrived that day so i actually well i bought one thing and the rest arrived I don't even know anymore. I bought one thing and then the rest was happy mail. So, I'm gonna change this up a little bit and this is why I like doing these overlays. Um, this will be my little happy mail. Um, and then in terms of shopping, I'll mark that differently. So for happy mail, um, I got happy mail from Wonton and Amelia and Fox and Pip and Rose Colored Days. Um, it was also the day that Simply Gilded had some new releases, so I picked those up. Um, what else? We had... I went for a walk that day. And we had Poppy come to visit. So I'll put one down here. The walk, breakfast. Oh, and then we watched Ozark. You guys, I am a scattered mess. So I was watching Ozark, making breakfast. The walk. And then Poppy and ordering from Simply Gilded. Here. I also had work. Shoot. Okay, breakfast isn't really important, so we're going to mark work. Make sure we mark work. Because, like, I eat breakfast every day. It was just that I made breakfast. Um, so let me mark that. as well. Okay. So for that day, we had Ozark. Tweezers. Just a little TV. I'm just gonna flip it that side. Um, and we had Poppy come over. Um, Poppy is one of our best friends, Schnauzers. Um, she's a mini Schnauzer, and she's our um, puppy Greta's best, one of her best friends. So she came over to play. Um, and then. So Irene's birthday was her. I went for a walk. I went. I had to work. That. And then shopping. So let's see what I've got. So we're going for a walk. I have a little Once More With Love munchkin, lifting weights. Um, I know I didn't actually lift weights, I went for a walk, but it's like a little workout sticker and I worked out by going for a walk. Um, and then for shopping, for Happy Mail from Simply Gilded. Gonna do a little um, 
money icon for spending. Okay. So that's the beginning of the week. Um, or that's Monday, I should say. Tuesday. We had a lot going on again. Let's start with I had therapy on Tuesday. In the afternoon, but again, I don't plan very chronologically. I just kind of go with what fits. And then I have these new um, foiled scripts, mini scripts from Rose Colored Days. And then I have a new um, Therapy Munchkin, no, Therapy Emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. Right? Or is it a Munchkin from Once More of Love? One's on order and one I have. <laughs> I have little therapy type stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. So I have that little guy and it's got like weights and it's panic, anxiety, stress. Um, not that therapy gives me those, therapy helps with those. Um, and then what else? I did a lot of YouTube binging that day because there's not a lot else that is going on. So I just listened to some YouTubers, watched and listened to some plan with me's and some planner hauls. And I posted to Instagram. I have a lot to mark that day, so that's going to be too big. That up. So we will get one for YouTube and one for Instagram post. YouTube, Instagram, and crafting. Can't fit all of these. Okay. And then I pulled some stickers. that day ahead of time. So for YouTube and then for Instagram. That is huge. <laughs> I will find a smaller Instagram one somewhere. And then crafting. And for crafting, I'm going to use this cute little, she's too big. Oh, clip chibi from Van Sticky. So I just cut her feet off. That will be for crafting. Next, I ordered the Rose Colored Days subscription this day. 
her foiled overlay tape subscription. That one there. And then I also went to Starbucks. And I went to Michael's to pick up an order. And then I watched some Criminal Minds. And then Starbucks. Go right there. Um, so I need some stickers for that. Grab a hollow foiled TV icon for Criminal Minds. And then for Michael's, I don't have like a Michael specific sticker I realized. So I'll have to see if anyone has one out there or one that would work for that. But running to Michael's, I need like a little shopping character. a little shopping uh, munchkin and then I need something from Michael oh that was for Michael's oh for the rose colored day subscription it's another kind of shopping situation here it was a purchase But I'm going to use, let's see, let's see, I'll use the little money icon to show purchasing that and then speaking of which here is a little instagram icon perfect so moving on to wednesday i had a staff meeting that day and for that somewhere in this pile of chaos i should have a meeting script I know I just picked some up and I do so for that meeting. Don't want that pink next to that pink. Do gray. It's another full day make this work. I forgot to mark work on Tuesday. We'll have to figure that out. Um, there. And then
make sure that work gets in there. We'll do another little label. Right there. And then I'll put in my hours. What else happened? Looking at my little cheat sheet here. I had an order from Nespresso arrive that day. Let's see if I can find my little Nespresso icons. Here they are. I have little Nespresso cute stickers from the Fox and Pip. And I'm just gonna use some washi, I think, to mark that. Because it's pretty self-explanatory. Well, to me at least. And then I went to USPS that day. I also posted on Instagram. I have some bigger things to mark down here. Um, we did a backyard socially distanced happy hour. So my mom and I had a couple friends over. Well, we had, how many? Was it one that day? No, a couple. Come over and we like have this big yard and so everyone spread out in a chair in like a big circle and brought their own food and we just ate and talked and it was lovely. So backyard happy hour. I didn't pull anything specific for that. Did not prepare as well as I thought I did. But I'm sure I have something. I just need like an iced coffee or something. No one drank. We just had coffee and friend time, and it was lovely. But I'm very disorganized. I'm finding the stickers that I want. That one. So I've got that. I'll have to do an Instagram post one. I'm just gonna use some skinny washi, I think. So that. Posting on Instagram. Um, and then I worked on my best friend's birthday is actually tomorrow. And so I worked on her present. It should be arriving on time tomorrow as well, which is good. So I worked on her present. I'll need to mark that. So put that one there. And then I still need to put in work. 
I'll just put USPS in my to-dos, I think. Could have used like a day extender because I have so much stuff that happened last week, at least at the beginning of the week. So I also picked up an order from Joann's. That's what I do. If I can't fit it all in the week, I just like put it as my to-do. So we will do that. Um, and this is becoming so super super long and I'm only halfway through the week so I'm really sorry about that. Um, I want some gray washi. Not gray. White paint. Can this fit? Guys, I already put in work. Everyone's no one's yelling at me that I already put in work. So I can put in Joann's. I need work for that day, which I think I'm going to just pull Starbucks out because that's not really that important. And put work in for that day. In some way, shape, or form. will do and <laughs> I don't want them next to each other this one here this kind of needs to be and then I will move around the flow of this page this was paper and not the overlays, I would have totally ripped up some paper. I'm surprised I haven't managed to do that on accident. Okay. Here we go. And then Joanne's Instagram and birthday. For working on her present, do I have a little birthday icon or something? I do. I want a bigger one. So that will be for working on Abby's present, then for Joanne's I need to put down something. It's too gray. Very indecisive today. The reason I didn't want gray was because then it would be next to the gray glitter header. That's okay. Um, Joann's. For shopping. For picking up an, I mean it's not really shopping, it's picking up an order. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna use something completely unrelated, but this little Andrea with Mickey ears, but it's craft related right there. And then I just need something to mark for Instagram. It just feels too big. Let's see. Yeah, 
that's too big. So I will come up with a different one. There we go. Keep that one. Perfect. Okay, so that is the first half of the week. This is a super long video. Um, it's already like 40 minutes after I had to restart it. Um, so I'm going to just quick fill out the first half of the week. Um, and then I might stop for now. <laughs> um, just because it is getting quite long. I will be more organized for future videos. So, um, let's see. Poppy. And then I just try to change up my fonts and work on different ones. I don't know, just to have different things throughout the add dimension to the spread. Um, let's see. Perfect. And then I worked seven thirty two three thirty. And then simply gilded. And then sometimes I just do my regular handwriting depending on how much space I have. Sometimes it's just easier to do my own handwriting and not mess around with like fonts and stuff because I run out of space. Fox and hip. Rose colored days and then one time in a million. And I am using the Sarasa Dry um, in point seven by Zebra. I also have point fives. I just couldn't find any um, therapy, so I have YouTube. Crafting. Um, Michael's. And then on Tuesday, I worked 7.30 to 2.30. And then I purchased the Rose Colored Day subscription. That's really tight. And I watch Criminal Minds. Perfect. Okay. And then Wednesday, I had my staff meeting. Espresso, I worked 7.30 I went to Joanne's to pick up an order. And 
and we worked on Abby's present. And I posted on Instagram. I hate writing on Wednesdays because it's right next to the coil. And then we have backyard happy hour. So normally when I'm planning, I go day by day. Um, I actually set up day by day too, so I don't do my whole base. Um, and for stickers, especially when I know it's going to be on the coil, I may set up the sticker before I set it down if I know it's going to fit. So I may write on it just like on a table, um, especially for something like this so that I don't run into the coil and then my handwriting can look a little nicer. Um, as for the habit trackers, I know... I haven't missed any of my medication, so I will check all of those off. Um, for my steps, I have to double check with my Fitbit log um, to see if I achieved the goals for the week. I really should be checking in daily, um, but I don't always remember to. And then for to-dos, I know USPS is one of them. I think this time was to drop off something for my mom. I've been a couple times. Um, once to drop off something for her, once to ship Abby's birthday present, and then once because um, I sold someone a washi. And so I actually shipped that out today. Um, for the next week, it's kind of silly because at least in my memory planner, it's like, okay, you're gonna flip to it and like you're back planning so you already know what happened. Um, but in my other planner, my next week is normally filled out. Um, I do know that this current week I had, I can't even spell, I always have therapy on Tuesdays. Um, Monday was Memorial Day. And then tomorrow is Abby's birthday. And I have a Zoom happy hour on Friday, and I also have a B-Day on Zoom. And that's next week. Um, so that is the first half of my week in my planner. Um, essentially, I will be putting the foiled overlays on the headers and probably on the boxes. And then I will do the same spiel for the end of last week. Um, so that's kind of how I plan. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.